Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem here, which is x minus 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 4 to the power of 6. What are the values of x? So let's provide a solution from here. We have x minus 2 to the power of 6, this is equal to 4 to the power of 6. So let's take 4 to the power of 6 on the left hand side, so that we have x minus 2 to the power of 6, subtract 4 to the power of 6, this is equal to 0. We can express x minus 2 to the power of 6 as x minus 2 to the power of 3, then raised to the power of 2, minus 4 to the power of 6, which you can express as 4 to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a squared minus b squared. This is the difference of two perfect squares that we can express as a plus b, a minus b. This is equal to zero. From this equation here, we have that a is equal to x minus two raised to the power of three, and b is equal to four to the power of three. So this implies that a plus b equal to 0, this is the same thing as x minus 2 raised to the power of 3, then plus 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 1. Then we have that a subtract b equal to 0, this is the same thing as x minus 2 raised to the power of 3, then subtract 4 to the power of 3, this is equal to 0. Let's call this equation 2. Let's start with equation 1. We can call this one case 1. And this implies that we have x minus 2 raised to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3. This is equal to 0. This equation here is in the form of a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3, which you can express as a plus b multiplied by a squared minus a b plus b squared applying this identity then here we have x minus 2 plus 4 then here we have x minus 2 raised to the power of 2 subtract 4 multiplied by x minus 2 then plus 4 squared which is equal to 16 this is equal to 0 so here we have x minus 2 plus 4, this is x plus 2. Then here we have x minus 2 to the power of 2. Let's expand this. So this is x squared, then minus 4x, then plus 4. Then let's open the parentheses here. Minus 4 times x, this is minus 4x. Minus 4 times plus, minus 4 times minus 2, this is plus 8 then plus 16, this is equal to 0. So here we have x plus 2, cross the parentheses. Here we have x squared, minus 4x minus 4x, this is minus 8x. Then we have 4 plus 8, this is 12. Then 12 plus 16, this is plus 28. This is equal to? zero now we have two parts here the first part is x plus two this is equal to zero the second part is a quadratic equation here which is x squared minus 8x plus 28 this is equal to zero from the first part here we have that x1 is equal to minus two the second part is the quadratic equation here with a equal to one b equal to minus eight and c is equal to 28. We can solve for x2, comma x3 by applying the quadratic formula, which is minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. Everything here divided by 2 times a. Let's substitute the values of a, b, and c from here. So here we have minus minus 8 plus or minus the square root of 
minus 8 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times c which is 28 divided by 2 times 1 so this is the same thing as minus times minus 8 this is 8 plus or minus we have the square root of minus 8 squared this is 64 then subtract we have 28 times 4 now we can say 8 times 4 this is 32 to carry 3 then 4 times 2 this is 8 8 plus 3 this is 112 divided by 2 so from here we have this is 8 plus or minus now square root of 64 minus 112 this is minus 48 divided by 2 so this is 8 plus or minus we can express the square root of minus 48 as 16 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1 everything here divided by 2 now this is the same thing as 8 plus or minus the square root of 16 this is 4 square root of minus 1 this is i then square root of 3 divided by 2 in the numerator here 2 is common so we can factor out 2 so that we have 4 plus or minus here we have 2i square root of 3 everything here divided by 2 so we can simplify 2 and 2 here so that now here we have 4 plus or minus 2i square root of 3 so this means that x2 is equal to 4 plus 2i square root of 3 and x3 is equal to 4 subtract 2i square root of 3 now these are two complex solutions these are two complex solutions under case 1 so let's proceed to case 2 let's proceed to case 2 in case 2 we have x minus 2 raised to the power of 3 subtract 4 to the power of 3 this is equal to 0 this equation here is in the form of a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the difference of two cubes that we can express as a minus b then here we have a squared plus a b plus b squared applying this identity then we have x minus 2 subtract 4 then here we have x minus 2 raised to the power of 2 then plus 4 multiplied by x minus 2 then plus 4 squared which is 16 this is equal to 0 now here we have x minus 2 minus 4 this is minus 6 then here we have let us span this this is x squared minus 4x minus 2 squared this is plus 4 let's open the parentheses here so we have plus 4x minus 8 then plus 16 cross the parentheses this is equal to 0 now here we have x minus 6 then here we have x squared minus 4x plus 4x this is simplifies then we have we have minus 8 plus 16 this is 8 then we have 4 plus 8 and this is plus 12 this is equal to 0 now here we have two parts we have x minus 6 this is equal to 0 and here we have x squared plus 12 this is equal to 0 so from this part here we have x4 is equal to 6 the second part here we have x squared plus 12 this is equal to so this is this means that this is x squared is equal to minus 12 so to solve for to solve for x here we introduce a square root on both sides so that we have the square root of x squared this is equal to plus or minus the square root of minus 12.
In this case, let's eliminate the square root sign here so that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of. Now, we can express the square root of minus 12 as square root of 4 multiplying by 3 multiplying by minus 1. So this implies that x, this is x5, comma x6, this is equal to plus or minus, the square root of 4, this is 2, square root of minus 1, this is i, then square root of 3. So this implies that x5 is equal to, this is the same thing as plus 2i square root of 3, and x6, this is equal to minus 2i square root of 3. So here again we have two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions under case 2. And this implies that we have six solutions. We have six solutions to this math problem. We have that x1 is equal to minus 2. And we have that x2, comma x3, this is equal to 4 plus or minus 2i square root of 3. These are two complex solutions. These are two complex solutions. We have x4 is equal to 6. And we have that x5, comma x6, this is equal to plus or minus 2i square root of 3. These again are two complex solutions. Which totals to six solutions. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and kindly subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye for now.